What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Sons of Cinema, where one of us has the face of radio and the other one has a voice for print. I'm DJ. This is my partner, Rex. French fry. (laughs) (laughs) All right, well, the movie-growing world was rocked with a major loss a couple of weeks ago with the loss of Chadwick Boseman Mm -hmm. during his private battle with cancer. Yeah. And we put out an episode on that, honoring the life and career of the man himself. But at the same, you know, a couple of weeks have passed. We're left for wondering one question: Where do they go from here? Yeah. Meaning, when I say they, they meaning Marvel Studios and the MCU. Black Panther was a huge success. Oh uh, yes, it was. Ideally, the first of its kind, and I knew every person that loved that movie was indeed looking forward to part two. So the question becomes: Will there be a part two? Well, Disney had already um, like announced. I think they announced their uh, their Black Panther two, but it was gonna. It wasn't part of Phase Four, and it, was it wasn't weird. part of it Phase Five. It was like five. a silent announcement. Yeah, yeah. See, when they came out and they showed their slate, Kevin Feige then went on to say that there will be Captain Marvel two, Black Panther two, and they did have plans for Fantastic Four. Mm-hmm. All right, but it wasn't. That wasn't the you know the, the forefront of their announcements. Yeah, because they they figured it was gonna be five years out. Precisely. All right. Makes me wonder as well. Again, I, this is pure speculation. Did the MCU know? Uh, did did my Marvel Studios know? Honestly, probably not. It wouldn't surprise me. But then again, also, on the other hand, also wouldn't be surprised if he did tell them. You know? But knowing how the industry works, if he did tell them, there'd probably be some guy in there like, you know, Team Z, Team Z. Hello. Yeah. So... It would have been uh, rumors and Mm -hmm. things flying around. There's already rumors going around once everyone saw that picture of him, you know. Yeah, they were saying that he was sick, but at the same time, nobody knew that uh, what it was. So So, uh, if he did tell WB, me, I mean, wow, Marvel Studios, uh, I'm I'm still on the uh, the ride. (laughs) Um, If they told uh, if he told Marvel. I think they would have um they if he did they would have handled with some discretion but at the same time I think one they would have been prepared for the hopefully unlikely but now we know uh eventual uh passing yes and um they would have had plans but I think this even caught them by surprise yes indeed so, apparently, we're not the only, one, only ones thinking of this. Nope. In fact, I was actually, our good friend TG mentioned to me that uh, short, about the day after he had passed, he had said that literally about two hours after he, and, uh, it was announced that he had passed away, there was a petition on sign dot, uh, on sign.org yes. to not have him recast. Yes. And it's yes. just end it there. Yep. All right. And to hmm. an extent... I can understand where the guy's coming from. I don't agree with the sign, uh, the sign petition, but I can see where you're trying to come from. You want to, you want to pay respect, pay respects, and you want to, you know, keep intact the, le- you know, the role that Chadwick worked very hard to establish. Yep. So coming soon also had similar thoughts as to where they go from here, and they actually conducted a poll in which a near five thousand, nearly five thousand people voted. All right, well, sorry, well, they, they captured nearly 5,000 votes, all right, with 578 votes saying, no, Chadwick Boseman was too memorial, uh, memorable in the role. They should not make more Black Panther films. Wait, only 500? 578. Wow. That is shocking to me. 1,768 votes saying, yes. They have to recast T'Challa with a great performer like John David Washington or John Boyega. Bringing John Boyega into this. Mm. But we already know what's up with John Boyega. <laughs> yeah. Between his uh, burning, dealing, bridges. <laughs> burning bridges about Star Wars and also, you know, apparently his whole fiasco involving that uh, cologne... Per, yeah, the Cologne debacle. Yeah. yeah. I don't blame him for that one. But Yeah, I can't say I do either. All right. But leading the polls at 
2,444 votes. The vote for yes, but it should not be uh, T'Challa. It should be another character taking the mantle like Shiri or, uh, or, or Sani. Okay. All right. I can see them going and making because if I'm mistaken, they made Shiri the Black Panther in the comics. They did. It wasn't. Um, oh, something happened to Chala. You're the new Black Panther. It was a lot more um, complicated than that. But yes, the eventual outcome was she became the Black Panther. Yes. Uh, TLDR for y'all. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, and it kind of makes sense for um, for Marvel Studios to actually do that. And the simple fact that at this point, um, you know, Marvel is trying to do the whole uh, inclusive and diversive thing going on Mm -hmm. with the um, rumors of uh, the A-team type. type, Was it the A-team? The all-females Avengers. Yeah. So it would make sense for, you know, Captain Marvel, the She-Hulk. And if you have a female. She-Hulk, you know, perhaps maybe you beg and plead with Gwyneth, Gwyneth Paltrow. To reprise a role as rescue. Uh, what else you have? You know, you've Natalie, you Portman got Natalie as, Portman as as uh, the female Thor as now. Female Thor. So you already they've already confirmed that Florence Pole will be the new Black Widow going out. Um, yeah, you know, this would definitely help him back that exactly. So and it's an it's an established character that a lot of people love. They've got some sort of attachment to, and it would be easy for fans to accept that versus um just here we've recast it and it's, it's like you can't do pardon me you can't do the whole iron man 2 don Cheadle and um terrence howard yeah was, i'm here we're done get over it you know you can't I give him credit for making the nod towards it even as much as i love don Cheadle, i think don Cheadle is an amazing actor it is a very drastic Difference. difference yes and just in every way they even portrayed the character so mm-hmm. the same, they were supposed to be the same guy but they were very very different um so you know something like that the one thing i don't agree with is you know these uh this uh, this article i was reading where like oh they should have um black panther killed off screen and you know you he would leave the mask and it would pay tribute and tribute to i don't i don't agree with that i i don't it would be better off if they just said, you know, he passed away from vibranium poisoning or something. True. I, you know what I'm saying? Rather than. But let's look at this. You and I are a big fan of this one franchise called Fast and Furious. Yes. And during the production of Furious 7, yep, Paul yep. Walker tragically died. Yes. And they moved heaven and hell. No pun intended. To go and complete this film with the loss of their co-star. Yep. Including using... Including using... <laughs> That's what I get for using batteries, huh? <laughs> including using uh, Paul's brother. Yes. And, all, and using a lot of CG. So what about the option of them actually killing T'Challa using these same features? Honestly, so... With the whole CG, I don't think it's quite up to the point. Like what they did with Paul Walker, I it was very jarring to me while I'm watching it in theaters. Yes, it's, very. It was very self. It was evident. It was obvious that they haven't got this technology mastered, and you know it sucked that it was Paul Walker. So I feel uh, that I'm not gonna say it would be any worse, but I don't think it would be any better. On uh, for Chadwick Boseman, uh, for them to do a face swap, all of that technology, I, I, you know, you know, even when they did it in uh, Star Wars, um, didn't they do that? I think no, they like didn't. I thought they did part of the scenes with her. No, they essentially they just they altered the script around Leia's uh, passing. No, not even Leia's passing, but they altered it around the scenes that they didn't use for Last Jedi. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, but as much as I understand, they were put, they were the backs against the wall. They had to do what they had to do, but it was blatantly obvious. Yeah. Those scenes had nothing to do with the movie that they were in. Yeah. So 
I feel like if they did something like that, it would be the same situation all over again. So perhaps, perhaps. Personally, just um, less sleeping dogs. But alive. on the other hand, you can do it in which you, again, not to try to uh, profit off of the passing of somebody, but you can do it where you can introduce a character fiendishly enough or big enough or monstrous enough to go and try to really like, all right, this is the guy that killed the child. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. No. Or these are the things. That, nope. Are nope. Are you saying that they're not nope. going to, or is this a personal preference? This is a personal preference. Would they? <laughs> yes. Am I, would I, would I agree with it? No, no. Listen, that is it. Okay. I'm I, saying it here I, now. I, don't do this. Marvel. Don't Disney. No. Let him go off into that sunset. All right. Don't don't. Yeah, he killed the child, so we need to use this to unite. No, no. Yeah, well, I guess time will only tell. All right. Any famous last words on this one, Rex? Forever. <laughs> uh. That being said, thanks for watching the show. We truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed already, please do us a favor smash, hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, which every time I hear that really sounds dirty to me, <laughs> hit the bell notifications. So that way you get notified whenever we put up new content. And if you feel you, if you would like to leave us a comment, let's keep the conversation going again. I've been DJ. He's been Rex and we are the, the sons, sons of, of cinema. cinema. Peace. Maybe I should plug these in now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. <laughs> <laughs>